Alright everyone, so today we are doing some projects on the boat. We have made ourselves daily, weekly, and monthly checklists. This kind of helps us stay organized so that when we wake up in the mornings, we don't just sit on our phones for and this a is gonna be a growing hours. checklist. This is Yeah, this is just what we could think of last night. Um, we'll actually go over this in another video for anybody that's interested in what you should be doing daily, weekly, and monthly. Um, right now, I am going, since I'm the water girl, I get to deal with the toilets too. Uh, we have a leak in one of our pipes and I'm going to attempt to fix it. Okay, so this is what's leaking. Um, I don't even want to flush it because I don't want nasty water to be spraying out through here. But it is leaking at the top of where this hose is connected. So I'm assuming this is not pulled up far enough and then these need to be retightened. Okay, so our hair dryer doesn't work on the boat. We tried using the inverter so I couldn't heat fix it. So I just attempted moving the hose clamps up closer to the end, hoping that they just weren't gripping tightly enough closest to where it was attached. So I'm going to test it out and you guys are going to watch. If this works, I'm going to freak out. Oh my god, I think it's working. Oh my god, I think I fixed it. Okay, moral of the story, I am the water queen. Just kidding, it wasn't really that hard. So, as you know, our outboard has been having problems. Um, You'll see the first clip is ugly and disgusting. I'm not done yet, but she looks a hundred times better than she did a minute ago. So, we had one of our neighbors, Larry. Larry came over and he helped us fix the outboard and it works now. Oh, baby. What a good noise. Ready to go for a ride, baby? Heck yeah. So we just ordered new solar panels. We explored all the options of getting a like hard top put on above the Vimini or some sort of davit system, but it's gonna be really expensive and it's gonna take a long time and just there's not a lot of good options in Miami for people like helping you put a solar on a boat so we decided we're just gonna replace the ones we have which are um, the flexible ones we currently have I think they're about a hundred watts up there we're told they're like 150 but everyone that's looked at them said they're 100 watts so I got two new 175 watt flexible panels we might get one more we got I'm just gonna replace what we have. The brand Renogy. There's a lot of good and bad reviews about this. It's mixed reviews, so we'll see. We really only need them to work well for a year or so, then we can do a full upgrade. We just want to be set in the Bahamas and further. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Alright, so I just asked Banner how the hell we're going to wire this because this is the only wiring that came with it. Um, um, I didn't order additional wiring because we already have three panels up there. And I'm honestly, like, not going to lie to you guys, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm trying to, like, research and learn every day. There's not, like, a lot of information online that, like, really teaches you about solar. But to my understanding, so these are called MC4 connectors. And to my understanding, they're uni universal throughout um, solar panels. So theoretically, it should be a plug and play, right? Secure this on the Bimini, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna do today because it's like gusting 20 plus. Probably not the smartest idea. But once it's a little calmer, put it up there and I should be able to just plug this and this MC4 connector in where the old ones were. And it should work. Hello, good morning. This morning we went and got our COVID tests for the Bahamas. Woo! Uh, woo! And then we actually just got back to the boat and Banner wanted to test the, sol the new solar panels out. So we put them up and just unplugged our old ones and plugged uh, our new ones in. And already with the fridge up. Normally like, when we turn the fridge up, our little reader, because we have the input of how much the solar panels are right there. Uh, and then the, the battery, when we turn the fridge up, usually will drop down to like... 12.7, 12.8, like, yeah, right away. And this thing reads, like, 
0.4 higher than our actual batteries are. Yeah. So we plugged one in and then we decided to plug the other one in and we're just gonna kinda test it and see how it goes today. I think we're gonna buy another one. They're both 175 watts. So if we have three of them, it'll be around 525 watts uh, of power, which is gonna be so much better. So much better. Uh, no more waking up in the middle of the night. But I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It's definitely not what it's going to look like, but we just kind of plugged and played with it. I'm gonna have to buy like a bunch more MC4 connectors and use like ex basically like extension cables with MC4 connectors to rearrange them properly. Right now, they're just arranged how they can be because of the way the previous person had it set up, which is not ideal, but we'll get there. All right, this is what we got going on. This is the new panel. That's the old one. This is unplugged and that old one is unplugged. And then we have another new one right there. So yeah, we'll let you guys know how it goes. Hello. Hello. So Banner's mom just got here today. Howdy. Marshall just got here today. Um, we also just decided fully that we are leaving on Thursday. Thursday. In four days to the Bahamas. Bahamas. Finally. I know this is the moment you've all been waiting for. So we um, decided Thursday because... I'm here. She's here. <laughs> this is my mother, everyone. Hi. Mom, where are you from? You have to look right in the lens. Oh, y'all, I'm from Texas. Texas. How is that? Good, good. She's from Utah originally, but a long time in Texas. Yeah, Marcy, what do you do for work? Well, most, most of that I worry about Pirates getting you guys. That's kind of my full time job. <laughs> <laughs> I have a women's boutique Ooh. and Nellie is going to help me and we're going to do a live sale. Yes, I just have to show you real fast. She brought these to do the live sale and tell me this is not the absolute perfect sailing little cart button up. It's Oh, I'm so excited. I'm already obsessed with it. And yeah. I brought her water shoes. Water shoes. They're so comfy and light. So fun. Salty Lime Boutique. Come check it out. So. Hey, she has a very cute boutique in Texas. I am super, super excited to meet Zola. I have not yet to yeah, meet her yet. She has not seen baby Zola or big Zola yet. Yeah. I so have a feeling today. I'm going to totally love her. Tell us what this is and where it comes from. Okay. In Spanish. In Spanish? No. In Spanish. Okay. <laughs> in Argentina, a la medianoche de Pascuas, mi familia y yo rompíamos un huevo gigante. I couldn't find a big egg, but I found a big bunny. bunny. <laughs> so we're gonna like all poom it. <laughs> poom. And then we're gonna eat a piece of it. Uno, dos, tres. So our batteries have never gotten above 13.4 with our old solar panels. and With the engine running, everything, 13.4 was the max. The max. And we just saw them. I just turned the fridge up, so I'm, I'm a little upset it ruined it. But it was at 13.9. .9. This morning, 13.9 with just two, the two new 175-watt solar panels up and there. It's, it's only 10 a.m., and we still we forgot to shut our anchor light off last night. And we still had a few things on, and the fridge was up higher than we previously had it before the solar panels. So it's like this is insane. huge, <laughs> huge moment for us on Zola over here. We're stoked. Hello, hello. So we just got back from a marine supply store, and we got a bunch of stuff for the Bahamas. We're leaving in a couple days, so I wanted to show you guys uh, what we were kind of stocking up on. So here we go. 
Just wanted to say a big shout out to our patrons. This is all sponsored by you guys. You're really helping us keep going. Thank you. That's yeah. Expensive. One of the most important things for the Bahamas, we have defogging rub. You can use baby shampoo, which we're gonna get, but I just love this stuff. It like has a foam on the end and you rub it right on and it literally <laughs> works. Perfect. So we got a 3 8 uh, 25 foot long line. This is a little lighter load. I think it's 308 pounds is the max recommended working load. And then we got three of these bigger ones. They're half inch by 20 feet. And the load on these are 1,040 pounds. So... These are gonna hold us on, just extra dock lines. You can never have too many dock lines. <laughs> to go to the Bahamas, you have to have a quarantine flag um, as you're coming in. I'm assuming just to let everybody know that you're quarantining. And then a Bahamian flag for the respect of the country. Uh, this is a major must. I'm hoping that it fits around the chain. These are like impossible to cut and break through. So if you're looking for a good lock for your dinghy, that is it. We'll show you guys how we lock up the dinghy. Um, Ed, back from St. Petersburg, sent me this link on like how you lock up the dinghy so it pretty much can't be still on the outboard as well. Pretty good system. I'll show you guys how we have it rigged up. I couldn't find any flex seal, but this is tape that you can even stick on underwater, like when it's wet. So if like we have any weird leaks outside on the boat or whatever, I'm gonna use that. Pliers, needle nose pliers have been like our biggest. Like, use them every day. Yeah, we use them every day. So find a stainless steel pair. Moving on, we bought this outboard motor mount on Amazon. We don't know how it's gonna go yet. It's not big enough, I can already tell. It's not big enough and we've, it, whatever, we'll let you know how that goes. A sponge, a big sponge to soak up fuel oil and as fishing stuff we have a fillet knife a uh, new cedar plug because we caught some good fish with this puppy but uh it got kind of torn up we got some big hooks little hooks or whatever those are and these are we've heard are like i actually don't know on the silver ones i had a lot of luck with the blue ones but they didn't have any really good blue ones at the store we were at but in my mind it's like shiners and bait fish or like shiny and have like a silver kind of flash as they're moving so theoretically if this is silver all the time moving i don't know i think it's gonna work we'll see there you go uh this is an inline fuel filter for the uh, for the outboard engine we bought a dinghy anchor slash spare anchor for the boat it's a 13 pound anchor i think the one we have now is around 35 to 40 pounds for the big boat so this will do as like a little spare just in case. It was less than $20, so kind of insane. And we bought a gaff. Sorry, fishies. Banner got this. He puts his weenie in there. That was good. <laughs> but you oh, shoot. My God. For those of you who haven't caught a big fish, this is very necessary. You no, put it in. Like a water cowboy. <laughs> So if anybody's wondering how much this was all, plus the anchor, plus that dingy my dig. About three hundred. About three hundred dollars. I don't know if you remember our old outboard motor holder. You guys should remember it. You should if you've seen our videos. But it's on its, it was on its last leg. It's cracking in the middle, and we just decided it's time for a new one to be safer. So we found this, the only one we could find on Amazon. It's still not super big enough for our motor. But Benito puts these little like, the corner rails that go down right here. It's not ideal to put your outboard right there. Yeah, so normally you're supposed to with these, it comes with uh, three holes, one on each side here for this pole to go through, and then one for a pole to go through right here. We cannot find a pole to go through there to save our life. Yeah, we couldn't find one. We couldn't find the pieces to connect it. So we decided to do our own thingy with jig and we just wrapped so much line up and down and around this pole yeah, like really is saying line now instead of rope i can't believe it <laughs> what's this world coming to but so much that it's so tight um and before our outboard like the holder would literally probably go to here and we would have to jerry rig like a big line around the motor we tried to get this one good and then we think if we can find something like finger width to stick in here and just kind of be in there then it'll hold it really steady and then once we uh 
find a pole or something will make it a little better, but this will do for now. Yeah, so if anybody's like us and just struggling to find the right parts, there you go. <laughs> We have our last little boating sesh before we go over to the Bahamas. We got my buddy Dan here. You guys probably seen him before. Got Mama. Got my boy Nick. You guys saw him That's out in Tampa. <laughs> yeah, they're long lost twins. We're gonna head out on a beam down a little bit towards like Key Biscayne area and anchor. We're waiting on the sunshine. It's overcast today. Have this one. Okay, so the boys are yeah. working on Nikki, replacing all yeah, the baby. fuel lines. Yeah, we have Nikki, Banner, and Dan here. Mm -hmm. Dan's hiding. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's but we've been having some engine problems, so before we leave, we want to get that taken care of. All right, we've just done our last provisioning before we head to the Bahamas. We're so excited. later okay guys I just went grocery shopping I actually just have been putting stuff away for the past I think two hours now um, we did some provisioning on food and banner did some provisioning on uh, marine supplies but I think we're pretty prepared now we're headed to the Bahamas tomorrow I can't even believe it this is like crazy I didn't think it was ever gonna happen but I have to get back to work because this place is a mess. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and get ready for the next video when we finally head to the Bahamas.